Hey guys and welcome um, to another ladder game. This time though it's a one-on-one -on -one and actually two friends of mine are playing um, Rocks as the Red Proto starting at the 2 o'clock position um, facing Waldi as the Blue Terran in the whatever 7-8 o'clock position and they're playing on Blistering Sands so um, I think this could be a really interesting uh, match because um, well Rox and Waldi, just like me, are rather like not really pro gamers, of course not, but um, they are really decent one on one um, players um, compared to me at least. And um, they really show some interesting creative um, gameplay from time to time. And yeah, so I'm really excited on how this matchup will look like. Um, <coughs> Yeah, inter interestingly enough, I think uh, Rox is building the pylon next to his nexus, so he is not like walling the the ramp, the choke here to his base. Um, same, by the way, for Volley with Terran, no wall in here. Um, most players I see um, playing do um, go for the wall in because they're just safe for some time. Then they mostly go for a bio build and then push out. Um, yeah, looks pretty different here, so uh, I should maybe switch to the production tab here. Um, yeah, not too much going on right now, of course. I'm just getting familiar with the uh, with the production tabs here. I think um, production and income are the most two uh, two most interesting um, tabs we can get here. So we see, for example, that Rox has now two more workers compared to Waldi. Um, both going for gas immediately. Um, yeah, the gateway almost finished. <laughs> Here the probe hunting the SAV like, I get you. And uh, we can see Waldi using the, the waypoints here to um, keep this probe um, busy. Not losing the scouting SCV. Yeah, here's the core and he sees that Rox is immediately going for stalkers probably and sentry, maybe one sentry to block the ramp here if Waldi, uh, with the force field, if Waldi decides to push out with um, an early push um, doesn't really look like it though, I don't know, a second barracks going up here one maybe safety salad created here by rocks um, yeah, so uh, I don't think rocks will go for whatever, <laughs> salad push or something like that as well um, so maybe we are going to see a longer game, but um, yeah, Waldi, we can see it here, the third barracks, so um, not going for tanks or a um, factory here, not a supply depot. This is, by the way, after patch, uh, whatever, 112, I think, so um, you actually do need a supply depot now to build a barracks, and um, the Reaper speed, by the way, you need a, a factory, I think, to do that upgrade. Three marines out now for Voldy, <laughs> desperately uh, trying to get that probe. Oh, and Rox is kind of testing here. Um, I don't know, maybe he wants to put some early pressure uh, on uh, Voldy, but yeah, not going to happen, not against three marines here. Yeah, <laughs> show us some micro at least. Um, okay, here they go. By the way, we have a reactor and a tech lab and another reactor, so pretty marine intense. Two SEVs kind of distracting that um, zealot and it gets killed by the marine, um, losing one SEV though. But um, that kind of worked, this um, yeah, mini attack by rocks. So uh, Wally is like, oh, he might come back with even more zealots and he's building a bunker or a bunker <laughs> actually so um, oh yeah here immediately um, putting some more pressure on uh, Voldy with that stalker but now he really has to back up because the marauder will just eat the stalker alive especially supported by those marines at least five and um, yeah I really like that wow rocks here playing pretty um, offensively he not only does have that Selnaga watchtower but also um, built a, an offensive pylon so he can um, let's just see yeah he already does have the warp gate technology so he can warp in units and not only here at his base but with the pylon within a pylon range 
So uh, we have a bit, little bit of lag here, but whatsoever. So he is able to warp in units here, and um, he does not have to go all that way from his base. Um, he will be able to move uh, to warp in units here, and only has to walk over half of the map. And um, looks like Voldy might be pushing out now with a lot of marines and two marauders um, rocks. Meanwhile, went for for an expansion, and I'm not. Sure, I don't think he can actually hold that. Well, okay, now <laughs> that's the that's just the advantage Protoss has um, with the warp gate technology. Because even if um, Wally would push in now, um, yeah, until he's here and can do something, Rox has the time to warp in so many more units that he will be uh, able to um, hold that push easily. Also, I think probably not enough marauders here. And let's see, yeah, <laughs> immediately Guardian Shield here going up for rocks, making the Marines even uh, less effective. Uh, I think Guardian Shield reduces the damage by 2, and Marines deal 6 damage, so it would only be 4. And yeah, that's really strong against Marines. Also, a pretty nice um, unit combination mixed by rocks here, I have to say. Stalkers, Zealots. And sentry, so the, the, the zealots would um, draw the fire on there, on them, and um, the stalkers would, um, yeah, just pound the marines, especially also the marauders. Even more sentries here, so um, yeah, only by showing his units, um, Rox is playing a bit more defensive, I think. So he has enough um, force fields to block even this wider choke here. So now let's have a look at the production tab. Oh, a lot of bio now, by the way. Whoo! <laughs> there you can see, yeah, a factory now, also a starport. Immediately going for Medivac, so he is playing M and M and M kind of Marines, Marauders, and Medivax. And um, yeah, so you can see with these reactors how fast he's able to to push out a lot of units in a comparatively short time. Um, <coughs> also researching Stimpak and Rox uh, went for this land is holy, <laughs> yeah, totally holy. Uh, for four gates and um, a robotics bay now, and he's building more immortals. Second one on its way, and. Um, Let's just have a look at the income tab. Whoa, check this out. Rox has almost 40 workers. It's like almost double double the amount of workers for, for Voldy. Voldy is just pumping out units and he's not his uh, his economy is like not nearly as strong as Rox's, but on the other way he has those guys here, the mules, <laughs> and they bring more um, minerals home. When they when they mine, so um, that's why, although he has only half of the amount of workers Rox has, um, the income is pretty much the same. Um, but of course, um, <laughs> and Rox even has this expansion, so you can see how ridiculously um, effective those mules are. Now one died, and we can see the income is immediately dropping here. Um, of course, way more gas for. Um, for rocks, and um, well, this is really interesting. It looks like, yeah, Waldi is actually going for a drop, and I think that could um, a stargate now, by the way, for rocks. And I think this drop could hurt rocks a lot because even though this is after the patch and buildings, I don't know if all buildings, but especially the Nexus has more health points. Also the Zerg buildings, by the way, and I think that's great because Marauders just um, killed Zerg buildings so ridiculously fast. Yeah, and he will definitely lose this target, and I think probably also the Robotics Bay, and looks like Rox is going for a counter-attack, so this could be some kind of base trade here. Oh man. And uh, meanwhile, uh, Wally is also expanding here, does not have any defense there, and um, <coughs> this will be like really, really interesting now. Um, this life, by the way, you can see no replay bar. I don't know what's going to happen. Two more units inside that medivac, and I think the Terran might. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know, man. 
although there are more buildings for the uh, more produce buildings the Terran if he stims now and focuses down the buildings he might still win here yeah this is the base trade um, a classical well not base trade base race actually classical base race who will be faster and I think the Terran can kind of only win here especially because if you have a look at this, he just floated away and Rox does not have any air units, <clears throat> so we won't be able to, to get that orbital command. So um, this is the huge advantage um, Terran does have when it comes to a base race. And um, yeah, also by floating around here, he sees that um, uh, emergency nexus by, by Rox and uh, another one here by the way. So this might still be really interesting. <coughs> Let's have a look on how much income or uh, minerals and gas the players have uh, on the bank here. Rox has 600 and 500 gas and 1000 minerals, 600 gas as well for Baldi. So um, really, really interesting. Here another warp uh, gateway um, kind of hidden here. And this is really, yeah, Tang is like, lol, this is really ridiculous, really, really funny game here. And um, because you never know when you are actually casting the 101, if it's going to be like really lame or really um, fast game. But this is really interesting, although I have to say, it looks, I think, better for, um, for Wally, just because he... Um, has those marauders and he has medivacs five that's that's huge but well on the other hand rock still has three immortal whoa i didn't actually know rocks had so many units so uh, now when i see that oh man now everything will depend on this last fight but it does look like Waldi is actually engaging he tries to escape maybe he knows oh losing um, three units here that hurts he didn't have too many marauders and <coughs> he l he is losing two or two of them and the marine i think also rocks does have a slight advantage by the observer here um, this is really interesting if this would be an island map with or with just one or two island expansions i think Waldi would definitely win because he could just float over and build whatever he wants to he tries to get the gold expansion but rock spotted that uh, maybe Waldi should have engaged he does it now uh, smvs are kind of stopping i don't know they're repairing they should engage here and attack oh this will be really close i don't know i think rocks will win that um yeah uh well he has to back up here and now tries to escape let's see the stalkers focusing the common center instead of the medivacs now one medivac down and the second one oh this is going to be close there it goes and i think this is actually gg because now i don't know yeah fuck <laughs> you name it dude <laughs> but well it was just kind of i don't know um some kind of micro mismanagement here with the medivax flying just through the units and i don't know if he would have attacked well he still did have the uh, disadvantage because he was at the bottom of the of the ramp um although the SEVs should probably have attacked um in front instead of just standing around here but now let's see rocks does have a solid income oh nice and another drop but not enough <laughs> no anti-air so that medivac won't get the, um, hit by anything here oh now the stalker is incoming and <laughs> well he really has to back up again i think the only oh i think the medivac will definitely go down and there it goes and i think this is gg now um no more yeah nothing he can do oh a lot of mules this is also the huge advantage uh, <laughs> Terran does have and yeah Rox is like you know it GG and he sees everything with his observer so it was very clever actually to get one out and looks like yeah he's going for void rays and um, <laughs> yeah well he now notices the observer and calls GG because he knows like no way to run and I think this was actually a pretty nice game for a random one-on-one -on -one. Well played guys both of you and yeah, that's it for now, Venom out.